Hi, I'm Ginger from Green Gold, and I am here with Cannabis Gummy Squares. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Gary with the Cannabis Gummy Squares. We're uh, currently manufacturing in uh, the Total Leaf facilities down in Sacramento. We are a company that has been around for many years in uh, a county that wasn't so happy with legislative rules, and so we had to move out of El Dorado into the Sacramento area. Well, we're really happy that you guys are back up and running. I know it took a little bit of time to get you guys back with us. It did. If anybody remembers, even when we started, I think you guys may have been one of the very first edibles that we pulled in. Yeah, we, we actually were. I can remember uh, coming out here many moons ago and uh, <laughs> yeah, many. definitely has changed a dramatic bit. There were very few gummy and edible companies back in the day. We were one of the first that offered such a wide assortment of flavors and different products for the industry. You guys are one of my favorite flavored gummy in the store. There's times that I actually buy the gummy just to eat it as candy, which probably isn't the best thing to do. It, it kind of raises my edible tolerance, but it is really a consistent gummy. The fact that you guys, I'm not sure what it is, but it definitely is a hard hitting gummy. What exactly is it about your guys' product? So we use a sugarcane ethanol extracted oil. It's a full spectrum oil. And so we have that product and then we clean it up, that oil up, and we actually process it through to get it decarboxylated. So what that means is we go in and activate uh, the THC molecules to make sure it hits you and, and gives you the desired effect. It's what helps them be consistent. It what helps us keep the flavoring, you know, all an even keel. So if you try one today in cherry and you eat one later in cherry, it's the same type of effect. Right, right. And that's actually an important thing because I know at one point in time, before compliances, you know, you were able to just grab any candy and kind of spray it. And sometimes it wasn't activated THC that right. was sprayed. Right. But you guys have always, throughout the compliances, before compliances, it's, it's always been consistent. I remember when we had your OG Kush mix. Do we have any plans of seeing that one back on the market at any point in time? We hope to bring back the OGs. The regulations changed so much of how we process products. You know, in the past, we could grow our own products. We could extract our own oils. There was very little regulation and oversight of this. You know, we could control a farm now with regulation. It requires a manufacturer like ourselves to buy COA category three tested material out of a licensed farm in California. We then have to bring it into our facility, extract its oil, send it back out for testing again. These products get tested two or three times along the chain. We're testing for all the crazy pesticides that are now in this list. I think there's over 65 of them. We're testing for heavy metals, the microbials, water moisture. Foreign objects. Pose, potency, foreign and objects, they're testing for everything. We do such a large assortment of flavors. We try and have a flavor you can eat a different flavor every day of the month. And so it requires us to do a little changing in the way we batch size and get things tested. And so it's, it's been a working experience. But right. OGs now, we're, like I said, a totally different process. We're working with the labs to try and understand that oil and how we can make that oil more compliant in the consistency. Awesome, so hopefully we'll be seeing those back on the market as well. You touched on the flavor of flavor for every day of the week. I was saying that was actually one of my favorite parts of about your gummy is the flavor yep. and actually if you have a favorite flavor, go ahead and take a picture of you and your favorite flavor and then DM a picture of the receipt. Was it you hashtag where you bought it? Hopefully it's gonna be from hashtag green gold. Green gold yeah. And then you wanna hashtag got gummies and hashtag 420 life. And the first 25 people to go ahead and enter into this are going to receive a t-shirt. You were need your size and color preference. Yep. So if you need that, do I need to do Darcy's? Nope. As you mentioned about all of the flavor choices, you know, one of the reason why is we're a Weed for Warrior supporter. We've helped those guys since the beginning. And you know, for when you have to take medication every day, since this was a medicated business when we all got started, absolutely, um, it pays to have all the flavors because it gets kind of boring after a while eating just grape or just watermelon or just- Right, you know. right. You know, Weed for Warriors, that's a project that's very near and dear to my heart specifically. I am not a veteran. However, I do fully support all of our veterans. I have multiple friends who have come back, not the same, some who have not come back as I'm sure a lot of you out there have. So the fact that we're able to give back even through gummy squares to be able to support any of the Weed for Warriors projects, for sure. you know, veterans helping veterans, every little bit counts. You can even look up meetings for Weed for Warriors. They have a lot of Instagram sites. It would be WFWP underscore your city. For example, WFWP underscore Modesto. Yep, exactly. That Modesto, Stockton, Sacramento, Inland Empire, San Diego, Oakland. Inland Empire, Southern. That's yeah. where Southern California, where I'm from. A ton 
ton of chapters. If you need the help or you want to meet the guys, there's definitely a chapter in your area that you can reach out to and we can get you set up with Right. Sure. Compassion is right around the corner. We can definitely we help start. you guys out. Yeah. Sure. And as far as the Weed for Warriors, that does go into the next little thing that I have a question on. Your guys' strain. I get a lot of questions on indica edible, sativa edible, hybrid edible, and especially when you're dealing with things like PTSD or schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. The strains are very specific with what strains you put into your edibles. For sure, for sure. And so these these brands that we are doing, since we're purchasing now oil third party through these manufacturers, Total Leaf, which is doing our oil, we get to be strain specific. We typically target a hybrid, a good solid hybrid. We want you to be able to feel it. We don't want to necessarily couch lock you. That can be handled usually with smaller amounts, micro dosing. Those usually give you the sedative effects for people to, to go to sleep. So they don't necessarily need to whole, eat the whole 100 milligrams. We are working on, like I said, we want to bring those OGs back. They have a totally different effect because of just the process and how we cook down those oils and so they have a much more sedative effect. Definitely true. I used to eat a whole one of those and have the best night of sleep that I've ever had. Great and, nights of sleep. Uh, you know, a good night of sleep is your quality of life. And the nice thing, these strains like we're, strains we're typically using, I think this batch is all blueberry headband. We have San Fernando Valley OG runs. You know, we try and kind of find a nice even keel somewhere along that. It's a Girl Scout cookies kind Something of Something that kind of treats the mind and the body well sure. all together. Another thing I really want to touch on is the size of your edibles. I am a higher doser, okay. as I'm sure a lot of the Weed for Warrior and a lot of our patients in general are higher dosers. It's important for me that I don't have to consume that much sugar. So the fact that you guys have the one block yep. that is scored, it's very easily to, it's very easy to see where to cut it, but it does not rip apart on its own. You will have to cut it. Correct. I basically just bite it in half or eat the whole thing. The flavor is perfect, the effect is perfect, the sugar intake is minimal compared to a bag of gummies. Yeah, most of our competitors in this in this space, you know, they're they're doing a 10 milligram micro dose, so they're doing little individual gummies weigh anywhere between six to 10 grams. To eat 100 milligrams of a cannabis oil that people need, you have to eat 60 grams sometimes of these gummies. Ours is, has a you know a net weight of about 30 grams, so you technically get to eat about half the calories, half the sugar, and it is super concentrated. Because we take our time to decarboxylate our oils and, and really clean them up, the flavor of the medicine is not even there. Not there at all. It, they're dangerous. I think. <laughs> they, so if you're not careful, they are. you can eat a whole one of these and end up in a different place. They so. are. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to see a specific flavor combo, mm -hmm. go ahead and drop it in the comments. Hit us up on Instagram. Um, I am not a grape person. I don't like anything grape. It tastes like purple to me. However, I kind of want to see a grape lemon. Okay. Okay. M maybe it'll be good. Maybe not. I yeah. don't know. I'm, I'm excited to try it and I'm really <laughs> willing. Lemon. Grape lemon. Yeah. Sounds good. We want to get the, for those of you that remember, we want to get the mango chili limes back. We had mango chili lime. We're going to bring pineapple chili lime, strawberry chili lime, watermelon chili lime. Those were some pretty awesome ones. And we've got some other surprise flavors that are going to kind of blow the minds off of people when they finally start seeing them, I think. I'm excited. I actually overheard some of it, but I can't tell, unfortunately. Um, it's just going to have to be a surprise. It will. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thank coming you. out. You for and oh, you're welcome. And then check our Instagram for the next time they may be out with a demo. Yeah. Yeah, we're constantly doing BOGOs. You can find us usually at any of the clubs when we do a buy one, get one. We usually have t-shirts for those of the people who want to support us more a t-shirt. Everybody loves swag. Got gummies? Sure. I do. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel today to receive 10% off your next purchase. View our Leafly menu to see what we have in stock. Also, our platforms and our website below. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.